So I thought I would just quickly clarify the layout of this video. So the first section is a haul, which I realised was too short to be a video. And then I added my first vlog into it afterwards. So that's why it's in two sections. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back. It's been about two weeks. I've been just focusing on uni work, but now that's all done, I can film a haul for you guys. Um, all the clothes that I'm showing you today, I have accumulated over a period of time. So I've not just gone out and bought like a whole shop. Um, I've also got a homemade co-ord that came in the post today that I bought off Depop and I'm really excited to try that on. Hopefully that looks as nice as it did in the pictures. Um, but if you could like and subscribe, that would be great and keep watching. Okay, so we had a little background swap. Let me just move it down. Um, so first up is this super cute um, hoodie. It's a cropped hoodie and it's got this corset detail. I ordered a size 10 to 12 because I did want it to be baggy. Like I, I'm, I'm glad it's this baggy. But obviously if you wanted it tighter, just order your normal size or go down. Um, but I really like this a lot. This was from ASOS. Okay, so next I ordered these trousers in a size eight. These fit perfectly, they're very snug. If they were any smaller, they wouldn't fit me. So if anything, I'd say size up rather than size down um, if you're in between sizes. These also have a really nice, they're also made of a really nice fabric. It's um, faux leather, but it's not shiny, which I really like, so it makes them look more expensive. Um, but these were from ASOS. Okay, so next, I bought a beanie. I've seen people wearing these and they look so cool. Like, Hayley Bieber looks unreal in these, but I just don't see it in me. Uh, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I thought it would look super cute with this outfit that I've got on now and then some big black chunky boots like I would maybe wear my Doc Martens with this. Um, this was also from ASOS. Okay so I then bought this square um, scarf to wear with these leather trousers again um, and I also thought this would look really nice with some baggy jeans for like transitioning into summer as well this is also from asos i've realized everything is from asos other than one thing and i picked up these two pieces from asos again this is from their as you collection they have so many nice things um and these flares are perfect they're just the right length and they're not too flared they're like minimal flares and the fabric is not see-through at all which is great especially with these pale flat a size eight and they fit perfect also picked this cardigan from asos again in a size eight this is a top from monkey um but i am kind of disappointed in it purely just because of this situation here like the open opening of the buttons it's not small it's not tight but this situation is happening and I don't enjoy that but I do think it is a cute cardigan I don't know maybe it's just my body shape then we have this co-ord that I bought from ASOS again I really really like this the only thing is the, th the fabric is thin so I couldn't wear dark pants with this, like it'd have to be nude pants. They've got such little cute flares. They've got like the, you know, the lettuce hem um, flares on both the bottoms and the sleeves. And the sleeves have this really cute little frill, which I really enjoy. These would look nice with a nude bag as well. And then maybe some white trainers with that and I feel like you could definitely wear this maybe more in summer because it's really light. Last but not least is the cohort that I was talking to you guys about at the start of the video. Um, the company is called Rendell um, on Depop 
Um, the cord was £45 and honestly the quality of this cord is insane and let me tell you these flares are the best flares I have ever purchased and I will be purchasing, purchasing more. So this is the cord from further back try and show you the flares because they're just they just need a lot of appreciation they're so nice um they're just really flattering and i just love the, love like the feel of them and just everything i'm literally gonna hit the light in a minute um but i'll just show you a quick close-up of the material as well because you can literally see how good the quality is so that is the end of the haul everybody thank you so much for watching if you've watched all the way through hi guys so welcome back it won't be welcome back for you because you will have just watched the haul that i did yesterday so we're going to attempt a not a haul what am i about a vlog today some tools for my mum and then i'm going to get some a canvas to do some painting i'm going to do some painting and i've just tidied my room even though this doesn't look tidy and this doesn't look tidy I promise I have tidied it the cushions are just all about um but I just went quickly wanted to mention again because obviously you watched the haul yesterday well no it won't be yesterday for you but it'll be like five minutes ago um but the um flares that I showed you um from ASOS they were all from ASOS but um these ones are from a company called The Wellness Project. Project? Why can't I speak? The Wellness Project. And I've actually looked them up and all of their clothing is compostable. Is that how you say it? Yeah. So these are environmentally good for the planet. Um, so they're sustainable. So that is a plus. I also wanted to mention the flares I actually have on today. You can see them, the um, homemade ones, um, handmade ones, sorry. And this is the top. In the hall, sorry, you might have noticed that I was like covering myself up um, because the top is honestly so nice, um, but it was just too small for me and it was just a bit risky. Oh, I'm trying to clip this up, hang on. Um, right, okay, my brain scrambled, I can't remember how. Um, but yeah, it basically went like this and had like a open cut bit. And I actually messaged the girl that I bought it off Depop. I said, would you be able to exchange it for me? And would I be able to get the other style top in the same color? Um, Cause she has loads of different styles. And then I told her about it being like a little bit too open for me. And then she said, don't worry, I can make you one that closes like the gap more for you. So you can still get the top that you want and I'll just like edit it for you. And I'm gonna quickly put a screenshot of her Depop and all the things she sells in this video just now. I um, literally just put these glasses on to hide my face because it looks like I've just got out of bed. But this is the outfit. Um, I've got a Zara coat on, crop night jum jumper, then the flares from the hall. Right guys, this is a bit of a nightmare. Um, basically my brother's car is in front of mine and now I've got to move it and I just don't trust myself. Like I really don't trust myself. are back in the home comforts of my little car this is such a weird fe feeling like vlogging while you're driving you know there's a first time for everything right just don't distract me <laughs> I mean I doubt this will be a drive with me because this is gonna really annoy you, isn't it? It's already annoying me. Um, yeah, this isn't gonna be a drive with me because I need to focus. It's so annoying how we can't. Right guys, so there's a lady right next to me in the car and I literally just want to go like this, but it's building confidence. That's what we've got to do. 
Um, the vlogging did not go to plan in the car. I was quite frankly feared that the window screen was going to smash. So I think I need to purchase a tripod. Um, but we're at the range now. I'm hoping because it's a Tuesday, there will be barely anyone in there. Um, but if not, we've just got to grin and bear it, haven't we really? I'm in. Um, I literally keep looking around every corner to see if there are people around the corner, but we're going. We are in the painting section. I'm just looking at what paint to get. Uh, so I think I'm going to get some white. And then I like this colour here. So the idea is I'm going to do some minimal painting. I've seen Chintzy and Sophia, like, you know, the textured art. So I want to do something like that and then I'm going to put it in my room. And I want to do one for my mum as well. I don't know whether to get any other colours or just keep it. So I could get some greys or some browns maybe. So we have an issue. Um, the white has all sold out and I've just realised this has glitter in and I don't want glitter. Like I want it to be matte if anything. So I'm going to have a look around. Oh wait, there's some big tubs here. One of these. Yeah, I'll get some of these then instead. I kind of want to get this size, but I feel like my mum's going to kill me. Look how big it is. But this is the best one. I kind of want to get this size, but I feel like my mum's going to kill me. Look how big it is. But this is the best one. Guys, I've just found an even bigger one, so I think I'm going to get this. This one is huge and I just rang mum to see if she's okay with me bringing this huge painting back and she said it's all good so we're going to get this massive one. It's £25 so let's hope this doesn't go wrong. So as you can see I did get the absolutely enormous canvas and then I've got some other bits as well that I'll show you when I get back. I will not be attempting to vlog um, on the way back, but I kind of want to go and get like a coffee, like a drive through. Maybe I could go to McDonald's and get a coffee. What do you think? Treat myself. We're back in the home comforts in the warmth and I'm really happy about that. I have a question for you guys because basically I've got this clip that I also bought from the range um but none of these clips hold my hair up they always fall down because my hair's too thick it doesn't it goes like this and then just drops and then it falls out you will have seen in earlier videos but does anyone know where i can find one that's strong enough to hold hair in because this is just every single one i've bought has broken and just not work. So if anyone knows, I'll be very, very grateful if you could tell me where you got it from. Okay, I'm gonna get on and show you what I bought before it goes too dark. Um, so first I bought these two gorgeous pillows um, that were seven pounds each and they're made of this nice linen fabric and they're just the perfect color. I really like these a lot. I'm going to put them on my bed and then I got this really nice minimal pot. This is matte and I think it's glass but I'm not sure but I just really like the look of this. I'll probably put cotton pads in it or some sort of makeup um, but this was in the sale. Then I got these really nice tonal bobbles. They're going to be good for my damaged hair because I keep using like normal bobbles and they're they're just not as kind to your hair as these are. I bought the paints that we're gonna use on the canvas. I got two of these um, beige colors. I'm undecided whether I'm gonna use them yet. And then I got two white ones. We are greeted with, what soup is this? Courgette pea and basil. Courgette pea and basil soup made by Mama. <laughs> oh, and Mama's doing his work vlog what soups you've made no. <laughs> well i'll have to show them then 
So what is, what is it? Wands, P and, what is it? P, courgette and basil. P, courgette and basil. And then the other is lentils. Tomato and coconut. Tomato and coconut. Very colourful. Mm. So, mum is going to give me some, what is it? Like, some... Dust sheets. Dust sheets, that's it. <laughs> so I can... So I can paint this in my bedroom. And I found this spatula in our silverware. <laughs> I found it in our um, cutlery drawer. It's actually a cake slicer, but I'm gonna use it as a spatula. So I don't think the rents are too happy with my decision to take on some DIY art attack, but They've got to live with it now. The reason is, if you know me, you might know that I sometimes have clumsy tendencies. Tendencies? Tendencies. So this sort of thing never really ends that well, but hopefully this time will be the first. Here we go. <laughs> well, I can't lie, I don't lie. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how I'm gonna show you. <gasps> Tell me that's supposed to happen. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you the process of doing this because I don't have the oh, maybe I don't have the technology i.e. a tripod to film this professionally for you so I've tried my best oh god this is so hard to get off it's only plastic there we go oh. yes I'm not sure whether to take the lid off and like pour it all on all together or just squeeze it on like this. Ew, listen to the sound of it. Oh, it's not that bad now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you just put it all on and then... <laughs> look, look at that in comparison to the actual canvas. I'm struggling to do this with one hand, so be patient, give me a sec. Sorry for the stress, but you need to try this. This is the most satisfying thing I have ever done. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Why is it not fixing? So put a bit more on and look, just look. This is probably the funniest thing I have done all lockdown. Look at the hat. So satisfying. Mad. Look at that. Wow. I changed out of those flares. Thank goodness. This is how it's going so far. I'm really, really liking it. I'm thinking I kind of want the strokes to be... I prefer this side to this side. This side's more smaller strokes and then this side's bigger and i prefer the bigger but i've nearly got through the whole tub so i'm definitely gonna need some more which is a good job because i did buy some more so this is where i'm at so far this is the last bit of paint so well no this is the last bit of paint that was in that um bottle so then i'm gonna get the other bottles open if you're stressed just do this. Ta-da! This looks cool, right? So I only ended up using one of those tubs, so it only cost me 30 quid. But I'm guessing you can probably get like cheaper canvases than the one I did. I just think it looks so cool. So I'll wait till that dries and then I'll show the parents and see what they think. Mom. And we are taking her to see the finished product. 
<laughs> you can come in. Take modern gallery masterpiece. Let's have a look. Oh, say, look at that. It looks like a snow scene. That's good. <laughs> Is that all in white? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Is it still wet? Do you want me to make one for you? Is it still wet? Yeah, it's still wet, so don't touch it. Yeah. Do you want me to make one for you? Um, maybe. <laughs> if I can find somewhere to put it. <laughs> what have you done? That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you in the next video.